<laughs> Hi guys, this is uh, Mandia on Astral Oracles. Um, now with cats, would you would you look at this nice cat right here? Like <laughs> she's she's so very cute, right? Like, and and I hope she will let me do this um, channeling in peace. But the guy I'm um, subletting this uh, this place from, he kind of took this cat in, and and I think he just well somewhat abandoned it and. Uh, and she's like a big kitten. I don't suppose she's much more than, than 12 weeks old. So she needs someone to take care of her before, well, she, she gets let out into the streets and, and, and hopefully the neighbor will also be a little, little kind to her. But uh, it's one of these strange manifestations because I was really hoping that I would get to connect to a, to a cat again when, when I move places. And, and here it is like <laughs> again be careful what you wish for right for she's, she's a kitten and like oh, she's very cute but she's also very annoying um but <laughs> the same uh, at the same time yesterday when i was meditating she was in here and then well she plunged herself on my lap and then just began purring and it's it's so interesting with this once you attune to it this vibration of purring because it's it's like a closed energy field that's just vibrating at a very healthy frequency and uh, and so i i thought i'd, I'd try to bring in my my lyran feline uh, guide uh, ismond to to speak a little about the healing power of uh, cats and i know i'm not not the only spiritual person out there who who enjoys a, <laughs> a good uh, kitty and and yes sure, sorry she's scratching me but but i'll see if if it'll work out hope you're well out there Yes, I'm so happy to join you and I'm so happy to be accompanied by another feline spirit here in, in this room with you right now. And I'm sure we can ask the channel to not get distracted as this little critter moves about tearing the place to stretch with its claws. It's the perspective that I want to share and that he was already delving into is the idea that Felines surely do have a very helpful and healing vibration. And in interacting with humans, you often find that this vibration represents something quite alien to you. By alien, I don't necessarily mean otherworldly or coming from the stars, but I mean something that's you sense deeper, more self-assured, more aligned and attuned with its own energy. And so, as you know, cats are multidimensional beings. They are vessels for a lot of spirits that wish to contact you. And so they often offer themselves to people who are in situations where they feel they need some sort of influx from the other world. This is a common occurrence between people to whom you attribute the moniker Starseed. It's the idea that you come from alien worlds, you have a lot of alien energies, and one of the energies that is the easiest for you to connect and recognize on this planet is the feline pattern, because this pattern is a pattern that's spread out throughout the galaxies as you have already intuited in your vision of mammalian evolution this is a design that is very streamlined and therefore you also see that size varies and details in different cat species from small to the great cats of the plains they also vary but well, the design essentially remains the same. A cat is always recognizable as a cat. 
and a cat is always its very own thing. It belongs to itself. And that's something you long for because you are creatures of mind. And so you also have this multidimensionality that the cats bring forward in you, but more often and usually humans like to preoccupy themselves with the movements of mind and the movements of mind they don't necessarily rest as easy with their own energies and alignments with their own wants and projects and what they seek out instead they are often engaged in the game of difference that is the game between subject and object and so you often feel transposed into objectivity that is evaluating your circumstances as outside things that you may interact with and that may have either a helpful or an adverse effect on the further outcome and proceedings of your life. But you might also begin to see yourself as an object, as something that belongs to the world, as something that essentially needs to fulfill a function in order to be accepted and to be valued as such. And so the mere presence of a cat, the mere appreciation of the cat in your presence and its nature, it reminds you that there is a layer beyond the games of mind that you could call pure being or simply being. It's the idea that these creatures, they rest in themselves as spontaneous and sincere presences. They have a lot of things to share both in their meows, but also in their gazes and their attitudes. See cats, they communicate primarily through energy. And so even though the face of the cat is rather stoic and often not too perturbed by circumstances unless they really feel angry or threatened. You perceive a lot of nuance in the attitudes of the cat. You sense a lot of signaling from its movements, from its orientations, from where it directs its attention. And you sense that this is the type of attention then were you to master it, it would also create worlds. It would bring forward the mastery of being a human by being more cat-like so we also remind you of that tiger style of the kung, uh, kung fu which is another way of perceiving this deep elegance in in the expression of the feline movement codes see there are many wise cats in this world all of them even street cats they know how to get by by simply being and so a cat is always as smart as it needs to be a cat is always just as volatile as it needs to be there is an un uncompromising energy in the feline spirit and there's something comforting for you to be in the presence of a being that can't help but be totally itself that is integrated into its own will, so to speak. So this has also has to do with the orientation of the heart center within cats. So cats, they have open hearts and therefore they present with their emotions on the outside, so to speak. There is no difference between what goes on within a cat and what a cat chooses to communicate to the world. This is a very, very powerful way of being. And it's a way of being that humanity is slowly opening up to, but it is still difficult for you to come to a point where you feel that when you open your heart and you uncompromisingly asks, uh, communicate to the world for what you, communicate to the world what you want and ask for the things that you need in order to exist and allow the world to see where you truly are and how you truly feel that you may be shunned or neglected or mistreated by 
these circumstances, that these are vulnerabilities that are opening up. But then notice again that the cat can be vulnerable and one moment it can even, if it's a trusted companion of yours, allow you to tickle its belly. But at the same time, at, when it doesn't want it, it will sink its claws into you or it will simply go about its business and do something else. And this is in stark contrast to the quietude and calmness that these beings also possess. Now see this little critter here, this little fe feline spirit, which has also joined this vessel as a type of spirit guide to help him align with the energies and ground him into a type of love that resides in his heart for beings that cross his path that there is something that is unconsidered and simply spontaneously purely emotional in this relationship between the human and the cat and as this cat now purrs in the lap of this vessel and as he channels these energies there is a meeting of the purring in his heart and there is a quieting of his energy field that is very healthy and so notice that when cats are purring they are in a sense channeling source they are channeling the vibration that they need to align themselves and they lend that vibration to anyone who's able to adjust to it and attune to that frequency and this is also where the companionship of cats and humans come into play because humans are very skilled at attuning themselves to other creatures this is essentially the spiritual gift, the gift of telepathy. It is the gift that you can sense extraneous energies and then make them a part of you. This is the great potential of love that sits within the human heart. It's the ability to make every part of the world a part of your being not as something you want to control or dominate, not as ego, but as pure being, as pure existence, as something that is extended in love into being directly from source. And you extend that love into being with your consciousness. This is the true nature of human consciousness. It's the ability to constantly expand by loving even greater, by loving new shapes, new forms by turning your attention to what is already here and allowing for that love, for that creation of perfection that sits purring with its pure vibration in your lap to let that thing heal you and attune you to the light that you also are. And so these mischievous little creatures that run about and shred your furniture, they would never shred your soul. Instead, they would remind you that your soul has the integrity, integrity of, the spe of the feline species. Your soul has the holistic nature of the purring vibration. You are also made up of a sacred syllable spoken into existence and sung over time by a choir of angels. This is your true nature. Know that you are also a being which is set into this time frame to unfold itself, to be created, and by this creation to create, and by these creations to experience love and by this love to extend yourself into every crevice of being, thus connecting all that is through this ever accepting love, this acceptance of all that is. Therefore, I, Ismon of the Anandi, your Liran companion, I've been very happy to transmit this message to you today. And I extend my greatest love, my blessings, and 
my enjoyment in humankind from me and from all felines in creation. Blessings to you, sweet humans. Yes, and then and she joined us. Uh, she joined us at the end. I gotta gotta love them cats. Hope you enjoyed, guys.